Hello, I'm Fast Lawyer. Today we're going to play Affected the Manor VR. A game I bought on the Oculus Store a long time ago. This is probably one of the first games I bought in VR. So this was back in 2017. This is a short horror walking simulator, yet it's one of my favorites. Uh, let's go ahead and start the experience. I don't know how many paths there are. There's at least two. I don't, I'm not sure if there's more than that or not. I've already played through the two paths, but I'm not sure I've tried all the paths. I believe there's a little change up near the end of this experience. The graphics are still pretty good in 2019 for a game this old. They're not the best. Uh, there's been better games now as far as graphics that, that have come out. But as far as walking simulators in VR, there's very few games that I would say have much better graphics than this. And we have our choice, right or left. We're gonna go with the left hand pass, just because I think I enjoyed this one a little bit more than the right. Now, I do recommend touch controllers only because you can hold the flashlight. Although it doesn't work very good until it's very dark, so. I don't scare easily, so don't expect me to jump up or do any screams or anything like that. <laughs> the animations for that were, were pretty good, especially for uh, 2000. However old this game is, like I said, I got it in 2017, but for a game that, that old, those are pretty good animations. There's a lot of details in this house environment. The house is huge. I just wish there were better interactions, better use of motion controllers. Basically, you only use it to hold a flashlight. That's really your only reason. You do have full locomotion with smooth turning, so free locomotion and smooth turning. Get out. <laughs> no, I'm not going to get out. I want to explore this abandoned haunted house at night. That's just how I roll. I am playing seated, and that's mostly for the microphone. I want to face the microphone most of the time, so... I'm going to try to avoid looking back so that I'm always speaking directly in front of the microphone so you can hear me better. Anyways, I think most of the action happens in front of you anyway, so I don't think that'll make any difference. If I do look behind me, it's probably very dark. Yep. So. Now, there's lots of little details from this little owl that's stuffed. Taxidermy. As far as the left and right hand pass, there are some similarities, but there's also major differences. So, some of the assets you will see again. There's someone right behind me. I'm gonna look behind me and it's totally dark. Hi, little girl. What's up? Man, you need a makeup tutor. Your makeup is running. Somebody needs to teach that girl how to properly put on makeup. So a lot of the animations are well done. Um, good use of lighting. Good textures. Lots of Lots of little details, and that's really what I love most about this. Like, there's a dead rat here for no reason. <laughs> and then that changes. So there's lots of little de- This is a kitchen. Okay. So you can tell the kitchen. Look, lots of assets. A milk carton. Those pots and pans hung up. So. Oh, poor dead rat. Oh, man. Well, I know what we're having for dinner tonight. 
Now I put this on high quality on my 1060 GTX and it seems to run fine. I didn't notice any issues. By default it wants to do medium quality. But I went ahead and chose high quality and it seems to be running just fine. So I would recommend if you're, you're on a 1060 GTX just bump up the quality to high and you should have no issues. I'm on an i7 6700. Playtime. Playtime. Set. Wanna play? Let's play. Ah, oh, cool. That's awesome. I like that. Ah, <laughs> oh, man. What you have to break the windows for? That's not cool. I'm a real boy. <laughs> so I guess we have to go... Ooh, wow. Yeah, I don't scare easily in case you're wondering. <laughs> what did that say? No? Alrighty then. Lots of paintings to look at. Lots of little just details in the world that makes it feel lived in. And you're truly immersed in this world. I won't say it looks photorealistic because obviously you can tell when you're walking in it that you know you're not in a real house it's just not the real world but it's still really good especially for a horror walking simulator it's among the bet the better graphics so this still holds up in 2019. the sounds are incredible uh there's good use of spatial audio and that was really uncommon back then so even right now in lots of vr games most devs do a horrible job with the audio work, the audio mix in their games, or with spatial audio, and Affected the Manor nailed it. Really good job. Hey, why are you screaming? What's wrong? Use your words. Anyways, uh, so yeah, the graphics still hold up in 2019, and the sounds are still among the best. This spatial audio is really good. I won't say it's the best spatial audio, but it's really good, really solid. And it's very unusual for a VR game. Most VR games, sound mixes are just terrible. That poor lady there. Wow, I don't know what's wrong with her. Not a good, not a good foot, not a good painting. They they caught her wrong. They caught her at the wrong angle. So I don't want to dawdle too much because uh, I don't want to make a long video recording. So I'm gonna go a little faster than I normally would play this. Normally I would look around a bit more. I do wish this game had better interactions, like I said, you're really only holding your flashlight and you really don't interact with anything else. So I definitely think you could have used better motion controls. I also wish there were more branching paths other than the two that I know of. It would make for more replayability, so, so far I know you can play this game twice and get two different uh, gameplays. I want to get this bookend. Where do you get this? I really like the atmosphere. And this this song is, this tune that's playing is pretty good to uh, build up the tension. I love this. This is probably my favorite part of the experience. And this is why I chose the left hand side. This is so cool in VR. 
That's so cool. You can't get this experience in 2D. This is why I love VR. Just And if you can't tell, they were saying Ave Maria for some reason. But yeah, you cannot get, get this experience anywhere but VR. And it's just so cool. You're in the upside down world now. Anyways, that was awesome. My favorite part. I would say maybe I've done a total of four playthroughs of this game and it's still enjoyable which is unusual because like I said I think there's only two main paths did someone like draw glasses on me that's weird <laughs> These dolls are creepy. Can I take you home? You want to go home with me? Okay. So there's two choices now. We can either go forward or go down. Last time I believe I went forward and it was the end. This time I'm going to go down. I believe it's the end no matter what, so... Let's see what happens. Ooh. Hi, little girl. I think that's the end. No one survives. Yeah. Anyways, I'm Fast Lawyer. This has been Affected the Manor. I do recommend this game. It's a classic for VR. It's a VR horror walking simulator. It's still one of the best. Thank you. Have a wonderful day. Goodbye.